Hey everyone, my name's Lucas, I'm tech sales here at GearFX, and today we're going to talk about housing widths. So this is one of our bare four nine inch housings. Of course, it doesn't have any housing ends or brackets put on it yet. This can be cut and narrowed to whatever width specification you prefer. So there's two common ways that you can pick out a housing for your car. One of which is you order the housing in a predetermined length and then you fit your wheels to that housing width so they fit properly in the fenders. The more common way is you order the wheels separately and then fit the housing to those wheel specs. We have a handy housing measurement form that you can find in the description below. So this is one of our most popular housings here. This is a Ford 9 inch that has Detroit Speed Quadrilink brackets that fits a 67 to 69 Camaro and 68 to 74 Nova. Now this housing of course is powder coated and it also is what we would call a narrowed housing or mini tub width. This allows the housing to work with the Detroit Speed mini tub kits that fit most popular muscle cars. When you're setting up a custom housing, there's four measurements that you need to take into account. Housing flange to housing flange, brake offset, axle flange to axle flange, and wheel mount surface to wheel mount surface. Now, housing flange to housing flange is pretty self-explanatory. It's the face of the housing flange to the, to the face of the housing flange. The next one is gonna be your brake offset, which is still technically dependent on which housing flange you're using. So for instance, this is a Torino end. This is what we would call a late Ford big bearing, which has a two and a half inch brake offset, which means from this face of the housing flange to the face of the axle flange is two and a half inches. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna slide an axle shaft in and we're gonna get this set up so we can better explain axle flange to axle flange versus wheel mount surface. All right, so for axle flange to axle flange, this specifically means the face of the axle flange to the other face of the axle flange. Now wheel mount surface width takes into account your rotor or brake drum thickness. So for instance, this housing being mini tub width is 54 and three quarter inches axle flange to axle flange. So with your brakes, that gets wider. So for instance, you've got a quarter inch rotor that adds another half inch total to the overall width and then it would be 55 and a quarter inches wide. That's something that needs to be taken into account when measuring for your wheels. Hope this video was helpful. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 704-799-0955 or email us at info at gearfxdriveline.com. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and make sure to follow us on social media. Thanks very much and we'll see you next time.